This clip is brought to you by BattleOnline.com. I guess picking up from that then, what was your best era to be involved with No Limit? Would you say the Gutter Music era or the No Limit Forever era? Damn. It's hard to say because the Gutter Music era was like a dream come true type shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But the No Limit Forever, you knew shit was real. It was like a college. It was like a, it was like a, uh, it was like a, a tournament or some shit. You know what I'm saying? And whoever made it, made it. Whoever didn't, didn't. When No Limit Forever came, it was serious. Like, shit, I not, think. I, I was going to say, there's not a lot of people that made the transition from gutter music to uh, all the way through to No Limit Forever. But sorry to cut you. All right, all right, you know, like I say, a lot of soldiers, you know, them came, you know, I, like, you know, shit, I fuck with gangsta, you know, me and gangsta, we like, we ain't gonna stop, we gonna keep bringing these hits and bringing these hits, we got, like I said, we about to drop one any day now called Gimme That, and when you hear it, you gonna be like, yeah, that's that shit right there, but other than crazy, man, I ain't really... If it ain't Master P, the Colonel, I ain't really rapping with too many people. It's just me and really, if it's gonna be me by myself or gangster, crazy or Master P, or just features, you know? I mean, you and Gangster did a dope sound called Keep That Same Energy and stuff as well recently, which was another type one. I mean, every time you guys get together, you always put down something pretty solid. I mean, we've heard people over the years with frustrations on getting their music and stuff released. We know that you advertise the lurking, the lurking music mixtape and stuff. And right. I think that was around in the 2014 or 2015 era and stuff. But, like, is there a reason why that wasn't released? And how do you deal with, like, frustrations as an artist then, I guess, being in a big label with a lot of other artists coming in and out? And, you know, I guess people want to be, they want to be dropped first. They want to be this and, you know, sort of maintaining through that. Yeah. <laughs> well, it could be frustrating, you know, if 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 if, if you let it frustrate you. But one thing I learned about, you know, just me in the streets. Period. I, I'm just, they, you know, they don't make everybody like me. I'm a lawyer ass nigga, man. I'm just lawyer, so nothing ain't gonna really make me too upset about it. I'm gonna just keep pushing and pushing till I finally hit one out the park, but. Um, well, as far as lurking music, only reason I mean, I never really dropped it because, um, I didn't think at that time I was really ready, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I knew I was ready, but I was watching so many other people drop their shit and they wouldn't get getting the feedback that I thought they should get or whatever, whatever. So, I was like, I'm gonna just wait. If you notice, Gangster never dropped his either. I, I think it was called uh, Checkmate or something, I don't know, I forgot, but. Gangsta never dropped tears either. But see, now it's way better now. Because we, it's like everything real. A anything we talking about is real. Real shit. Everybody know me from the streets. Everybody know I done did fed time. I done did time. I done did all this shit. Nigga know who I am. I, I came in the game as player. And I and I changed it to play busy with this rap shit. But all the street niggas know who I am. They know what's over me. They know I'm a solid nigga. So I just, you know, never really got to just dropping lurking music, but lurking music gonna get dropped through Megan music. So it's still a win win. Like it's gonna all come, come together. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I remember the single you had Bury Me. That was another hot one, man. That was smoking. That thing, that one's so hot. You know that, you know, shout out to T C. That's my little homie. Me, T C, Black, Don, and um, Master P was on that song. And to this day, and that's another thing, you know, like when I drop lurking music, a lot of those songs are gonna be on there because the world really never heard them. You know what I'm saying? So I just love the fact that I'm 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 still spitting like I'm 19. You know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 easier to me now. It wasn't that easy to me then, and I was dropping real hits like "Bury Me," "Pistol Grip," um, um. What I had the song still buck wild. I had um, I got one right now that's still sizzling. Let me find out. They loving that one, you know. 
Yeah, that was tight off the gift album. All right, off the gift album. Then I got a lot of features with Master P. You know, Master P don't just rap with anybody. Let's get that understood right now. So, I got a lot of features. Poker Face, um, he on Let Me Find Out. Gangster got the um, I put that on my life. Me, Master P, and Gangster. Yeah, that was hot. Yeah, and we got a, a bunch more P never released. You know what I'm saying? So, like I say, um, it's only gonna get better. And this the year, like this year right here, y'all about to start seeing so many songs get dropped and they all going to be bangers. And then however Master P won't do it, you know, he the kind of, that's what I'm rocking with. You heard me? So whatever he said, that's how I'm doing. That's how I'm coming. I don't give a fuck about nothing else. So shit, that's just how we roll, man. I'm a lawyer ass nigga. I'm a, a motherfucking no limit soldier to the day I die. So it is what it is. Like. Period. Me, gangster, my nigga crazy, Master P, and the rest of the family. Shout out to my nigga Hitman. Shit, you know he behind the scenes twerking them videos. So. But yeah. Peace family. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and check us out on bout.online.com. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook for exclusive playlists and social media for all different types of segments and content. This clip is brought to you by BoutThatOnline.com. BoutThatOnline.com. Oh, uh, no squares allowed. Living lean as one hour slogans. Oh, uh, that life, high energy. Oh, uh, about that online presented by Fonzie Neutron is a UK-based platform specializing in hip-hop culture. BoutThatOnline.com. Out of the UK. Y'all tap in with it. Hip hop culture on hood. About that online.com. B O U T G A T O N L I N E dot com. On hood. Tap in with it. Fonzo kicking for the new plus the Osu. Yeah, I got plenty can. Shit, let me show you. Now I'm about to roll for bring in the new team. Got the new blueprint, brand new routine. About that play hard, do with major. Niggas fuck around, that's a trip to the graveyard. When I'm about to go next, ever go progress. Elevation and expansion, that's so blessed. So fresh since I need high haters wanna be I. When your truth be told, they couldn't see I. Shout out my homeboy G5, we fly high, no limits till I D.I. And you know I keep it mad hard, got the game.